Cuisine Royale cooks up some new gameplay mechanics that can slow down time. League of Legends celebrates 10 amazing years with some huge announcements. Kingdom Under Fire 2 is actually making its way over to the West this time. And Lady Gaga, if you're watching, head over to MMOS.com slash game slash Fortnite. What's up everyone, James Blonde here with your weekly recap for gaming news and announcements of the week of October 18th, 2019, and this week is pretty much all about Battle Royale, so kicking it off, Cuisine Royale has a major content update coming soon that brings bullet time to an MMO shooter for the first time. Wild West Age of Nawal will introduce a massive new map as well as a new playable character. This new character will have fantastic unique abilities and multiple new weapons, items, and player skills. A variety of gameplay mechanics were also made, which were based on player feedback. Realistic melee weapons and firearms are still the main order of the day in Cuisine Royale. Combat abilities through supernatural powers and rituals will also be possible. Gunslinger Annie can slow down time in this first implementation of bullet time in a multiplayer shooter. His creates a different set of timelines, which is resolved as soon as you and Annie return back to normal speed, and you'll have to see for yourself how exactly this paradox plays out. Annie's not the only character with cool powers though. Clyde will be able to unleash the beast and go into a battle frenzy. Ocelot will be able to move around the map undetected by leaping into a hidden dimension. There will be other spells and rituals that can be cast, such as the portal, which allows you to instantly travel between two points. There's also Zombie Apocalypse, which lets you summon a horde of the undead. The new map, Mexico, is about four times bigger than the previous map of Cuisine Royale and a perfect fit to the brutal battles that can take place there. You will fight over vast mountain ridges alongside rivers, multi-story buildings, and even the pyramids, making the jetpack a very welcome find to quickly cover vertical distances and attack enemies from unexpected locations. Several elements on the map are destructible, which makes blowing up a bridge a perfect starting point to ambush unsuspecting enemies. You can collect golden Aztec coins on the map and play with them in randomly appearing slot machines that may yield weapons, armor or other items, including a set of pre-cooked hand grenades, so be careful. Of course, these Aztec coins can be used in the current match only and cannot be bought for real money. This is a pretty hardy sized update headed to the game. Just when you thought the Battle Royale end was near, Zodiac Interactive and Jolly Roger Game Studio have a new medieval Battle Royale on the way, announced during EGX. Ran Lost Islands is scheduled to debut on Steam's early access program later this year and will pit 100 players against one another during the Age of Discovery. There are several factions to choose from, such as the European Empire, Ming Dynasty, and the Japanese Shogunate. There are also nine distinct character classes to offer greater gameplay depth and options, and players can switch between the classes to use different combat styles. Exploring islands isn't the only point though, as underwater combat can become a part of the action, but players aren't the only enemy. Wild scavengers and monstrous sea creatures also await. Okay, so I suppose there's room for one more battle royale game, just so long as it's a medieval style one like this. In other news, Kingdom Under Fire 2 is finally coming to the West. Okay, so uh, we've heard that before and it didn't happen. Well, that was last time and this is now. To prepare us for the launch, several teaser trailers were dropped this past week, so it must be legit. They've also announced the Spell Sword class, which is a master of ice and lightning magic. The Spell Sword is a relative to the Dark Elves and combines magical runes to create new attacks or heal herself. The Spell Sword also trades away a larger health pool for more damage and speed on the battlefield. This isn't the only class they've shown off for the game this week though. Uh, there's also the Gunslinger class, who switches between a sword and two pistols and utilizes a devastating array of combo attacks. The Gunslinger's ammo is a valuable resource that must be managed, however it can be replenished by landing sword combos. The third introduction this week is for the Ranger class. Armed with her bow and daggers, she deals deaths and destruction to anything in her path with a flurry of skilled, deadly attacks. She inflicts high damage and is particularly adapted to single combat. You can check out all three class spotlights along with their opening trailers at the site post link below. On a slightly similar note, Arcage Unchained, the single purchase buy to play version of the classic MMO Arcage, has officially launched this past week. The one purchase gets you all of the game's content, including sieges, naval combat, 220 interchangeable skills, and so much more. Even the most powerful items available in Arcage will be accessible to players through skill and ability in game instead of having to open their wallet. 
The update Shadows Revealed breathes fresh air into the world of Arcage Unchained, offering a multitude of graphical enhancements and the visually improved Elven Race. Thanks to the upgraded combat effects, eager fighters can now enjoy even more detailed combat. The new skill set Swift Blade enables Shadow Warriors to prove their might in dashing duels. Like I mentioned, the game has transitioned over to the buy-to-play model, and the Silver Edition, which is the base version, will run you $25.99. That being a case, I feel like the name implies players are no longer trapped behind paywalls that keep them from playing the game how they wanted to in the first place. We'll see how it goes. Riot Games is living up to its name as League of Legends turns 10 this year. Wow. To celebrate this incredible milestone, Riot made a handful of blockbuster announcements for the game. The first is that Senna, a soul trapped inside Thresh's lamp, has finally escaped and will be a playable champion. Wild Rift, a new mode of play designed for mobile and consoles that was announced, will see players participate in condensed versions of the classic 5v5 Summoner's Rift matches, with each taking only about 15 to 18 minutes instead of the 40 plus minute standard matches. There's also a few major updates coming to teamfight tactics, including sets. A few times a year, the pool of available champions will be swapped around. Some of the mechanics will remain, but there will be new ones to explore as well, which will shake up the depth of the game. Riot is also releasing a card game set in the League of Legends universe called Legends of Runeterra. The game contains 24 champions available at launch and are the key cards you build your deck around. The game will feature six different regions, each with their own playstyle, and champions will have signature abilities as well. You can even combine cards from different regions to play the deck you want to play. There's even a brand new animated series set in the LoL universe called Arcane, which tells the story of two iconic League of Legends characters and what ultimately tore them apart. I think it's safe to say that there's never been a better time to be a fan of League of Legends. As we alluded to in a previous update, World of Warships Update 0.8.9 is live. This new update introduces the new Italian cruisers to the game. These ships are maneuverable and the tier 6 ships and above have mighty 203mm guns to make use of. The first researchable branch of the Italian Navy is available in early access and are the Raimondo Montecuculi, tier 5, Trento, tier 6, Zara, Tier 7 and Amalfi Tier 8. These ships offer new gameplay mechanics to take advantage of, like semi-armor piercing shells and the exhaust smoke generator. There's also the huge Halloween event, which includes the Raid for the Filth game mode. Players will command magic-infused ships and face off against human and AI-controlled opponents. The main objective is to gather filth, a special resource, both from set locations and defeated enemies before escaping through a centrally situated portal. Filth can then be exchanged in the armory for valuable rewards such as credits or random bundles for new permanent camouflages, signals, XP, and much more. And we're back with more Battle Royale news as Darkness has descended upon King's Canyon, bringing a new collection event to Apex Legends. The Fight or Fright collection event will feature King's Canyon at night and a limited time mode called Shadowfall. This limited mode will have a mysterious figure offering his warped version of Apex games where fallen legends will turn to the undead. And of course, what Apex Legends event would be complete without awesome cosmetics? What is Fortnite? asked the pop star Lady Gaga earlier last week. That tweet is probably what caused the actual blackout, and now I wouldn't be surprised if Epic decides to do a Lady Gaga-inspired cosmetic set. Could be interesting. Despite the blackout this past week, Fortnite is back with a brand new world in Fortnite Chapter 2. This map will have brand new gameplay features to try out like swimming, fishing, motorboats, and much more, all on a brand new map featuring 13 locations. You can also be a support player now with the Bandage Bazooka and even carry your allies away from the line of fire. Players can also hide in haystacks and dumpsters to get the drop on unsuspecting opponents. In Fortnite Chapter 2, you can also upgrade weapons with resources. The biggest change to the game, arguably, is the change to the grind. A new battle pass awaits which features a new EXP system and medals to earn in matches. These were implemented with the hope of alleviating some of the grind, so here's to hoping all of that works out. And with that, we are done with the Battle Royale news, because we just about covered all of them this week. Kinda ridiculous.
Moving on, Terra's new Skywatch Aerial Island update hit this past week for PC players. This high-flying zone has four new areas to explore and conquer. Rogash's Garden, Exodora Farmlands, Iridian Wetlands, and Varric Fortress are available for high-level players to tackle and feature a variety of content for players, whether they want to tackle field bosses and bams or fisheries to relax at. This expansion also adds the card collection system, which lets players customize their power in new ways. This is unlocked via a quest at level 11, and the collection is shared server-wide. Players can earn shards from enemies or purchase them in the auction house, then simply combine the shards into full cards that offer passive buffs and sets that unlock even greater passives. In addition to the four new zones, many older dungeons have received updates to bring them in line with more recently released dungeons in terms of difficulty and rewards. The update also introduces the new Akaloth Quarantine Dungeon for level 69 players with strong enough gear, sending players into the halls of the Varric Fortress to investigate a portal leading to a deadly secret weapon. Players will be rewarded for their efforts with new armor and weapons, plus enchanting materials to empower them. And finally, with some editorial news, Jason had a chance to review Cash Shop Stories, I mean, Caravan Stories, a Japanese mobile MMO that came to America in the form of a PS4 port. It's interesting. If you're interested in seeing how the game plays, check out our coverage at MMOS.com with the link down in the description below. And that about wraps up all the major news and announcements for this week. For more information on the news topics, check the links in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that little bell icon to get notifications, and of course, share this video. Until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.